Alrighty, with that chill song out of the way, hello, hello, welcome to the stream. I'm gonna be playing my number one all time favorite game. Just lost boot up, there we go. Let me just boot up my PlayStation 2 real quick. Yeah. I maze my right model. Alright, yeah, I am. Hell yeah, let's rock. I may need to turn up the volume. Yeah, I do need some of the volume. Hold on. That's way too high. Uh, 25 should be good. All right, there we go. But yeah, playing Xenosaga. is hard so be careful when you dig yes sir doctor doctor masuda what is man it? i hate monday Did wait a minute something? today is not monday yeah. <laughs> we followed the corridor from the lakeside yeah i know i know i said monday but that must be it. Good. earlier today i was like yeah fuck it i want to play it now but hey how's it going wonka it's different from the others i knew it It's over there. How does my totally legit PS2 look? Fun fact, I still have my original PS2 in my closet. Same with my original memory card. This must be... Funny thing is that that Zohar design is like almost every Xeno game, but I have no idea what the hell it even like what it means. It's confusing. Sick. You'd even say the PS2 got the power of a PC gamer. <laughs> Yeah, man, I, I, I retrofitted my PS2 with computer parts. How's the audio? Is it too quiet? I think it's okay. Alright, that's good. Bandai, give Monolith back the rights to Xenosaga. Fucking bastards. Oh. 
Usually it's Godzilla, the one that comes out of the water in moments like this. Eh, you're not wrong, man. But instead, it's a giant monolith. It's summoning God to kill us all. We shall praise the monolith as God now. I mean, it's kind of what they do in this game series. No matter how many times I play the games, I never know what the like specific reason for the Zohars. Good fact, in high school, I used to go by Space Jesus. What is that? What, Space Jesus? You know, we don't even know, because uh, there was this group that I used to hang out in. And one of my friends went by Jesus. The other experiment. went by Satan. I think it's because we all had long hair and looked like Jesus. Roger. And I just went by Open Space Jesus, because we couldn't think of anything else. Dummy protocol. A -line protocol zone secured. Opening cage partition. 60 seconds to release. Beginning countdown. 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51. Oh no, high school is a crazy time. He's dead. All monitors clear. Three, two, one. Partition open. Proceeding with Cosmos body formation. Hell yeah, that's my original waifu. Body formation complete. Commencing pen filled mapping. I should replay Xeno's gears, not Xeno gears, uh, Xenoblade at some point. There's noise appearing in the temporal lobe. What's the problem? It's on the left side of the temporal lobe. I'm showing slight stimulation of the synapses in section 818. It's within permissible bounds, though. Do you want to abort? No. Let's keep going. Just stick to the menu. I'll try for a direct approach. Back me up. Roger. Launching Nata Raja connection system.
I love Xenosaga, but these fucking cutscenes are long. Xenoblade, one always took me the first part of the game. Which one? Xenoblade 1, 2, or 3? Password accepted. So I was thinking of replaying 2. I need to replay and actually finish 3. I do have one, but eh, that one was iffy for me. To be honest, Xenoblade 2 was my first Xenoblade game. The Xenoblade one, the one that was on Wii? Gotcha. Alan, there seems to be a problem with the visual field connection. Hmm. Ah, I see a small break in the MT field. Yeah. K Maybe I'll stream all three like at some point. The bi-directional link in the V4 field is lag too. Hold on a minute. I mainly want to play I'll 2 again now. because I can get Cosmos and her I'll sister in that game. Okay. Looks good. Let's keep going. Roger. Proceeding with Cosmos host separation. There's going to be some long ass streams. Yeah, tell me about it. My original save that I streamed, I don't know how many years ago. Good morning, I think it was like two or All so years ago. Well, how about introducing I played, you? like, my, that save I alone was 30 hours long. How much of that I streamed, I don't remember, zero, because I did a lot of grind, zero, like, level grinding off-stream. Development name, KPX. Abbreviated name, Cosmos. As I am currently configured for simulated battle, my output is limited to 22% of its normal capacity. My estimated weapon specifications are... Alright, that's good enough. Thanks. You this character is 2B before 2B. Ah, she's Sorry cooler than 2B. Yeah, 2B's got the ass and all that. Out. But Cosmos, nah, she's... She's got that badass factor. Do you feel sad or anything? A predetermined set of emotions has been hard-coded into my emotion module to better facilitate interactions with humans. In order to better facilitate a relationship with you, Chief Engineer Shion Uzuki of the Cosmos Project, Vector Industries, 1st R&D Division, Uzuki. I will emit an expression such as sadness only when that response is deemed necessary. I hear Uzuki and However, immediately want to like, think of, of fucking Uzaki. ...that this is not necessary at this time. <laughs> I guess you're right. I, of all people, should know that. Your understanding is appreciated. But you know, Cosmos, I've got mixed feelings about all this. Of course, I'm happy that you're awake, but the fact that you'll go back to sleep makes me a bit sad. On the other hand, the next time you wake up, it may be a time of much bloodshed. So deep down inside, I hope that day never comes. Understand? The algorithms I have been programmed with do not support the comprehension of illogical human thought. Well, I hope you'll be able to understand someday I will do my best all right Cosmos shall we get started Alan let's pick up from process 277 where we last left off Roger placing target drones in the encephalon I think I slept the wrong man my fucking neck hurts enemy ambush. how about a test run before the mission chief no oh, no test run sure let's do that did you get that Cosmos damn you tutorials Girl just said that four eyes be talking nonsense. <laughs> I don't need this tutorial, man. I've been playing this game for years.
This game has some of my favorite, like, battle music of any game. This was back before games had a difficulty. Then again, many All RPGs back then didn't have difficulties. Chief, they always just fucking threw you in the deep end. Smoothly. The A-line protocol is looking good. It sure is. The response levels are really good. If we can maintain these levels, we'll have some great results soon. They just yeah. throw your ass in the deep end and be like, "Swim, bitch." <clears throat> Hey, Alan. Let's skip all 300 level processes and start from 400. Huh? 400? Chief, but that's... I feel pretty confident this time. But, Chief... Remember what happened last time? Had we waited 10 more seconds to intervene, we wouldn't have been able to get you back at all. Anime Luigi. Can't we at least test it out in objective mode? You know we can't get precise data that way. I'll be fine. If something happens, I'll get. Yeah, myself. I can see that. Besides, you want to test it out as well, don't you? We spent all night building the native A line protocol. Well, yeah, but. That settles it. Let's get started. All right then. But if anything happens, I'm gonna shut it down from here. So don't press your luck. I'm curious. All right, all right. I never actually like looked into and it. Don't deviate from the program. But okay, mom. I should see Jeez, if there's a way to change this the language. Is so typical of her. Will she ever stop to think about the hell I go through for her? You know, sir, the way you worry about Chief Uzuki all the time. I'm surprised you haven't killed over already. Uh, hey, that's enough. Is the 400 level program ready to go? We're ready to go anytime. Then start up the program. I want detailed reports from every monitoring station. Any abnormalities, and I'm shutting down immediately. Can I finally play? Hell yeah. PSC usually don't have that option to make the game. Have less data on the disc. Oh, gotcha. Uh, that makes sense. Yes, I know how to play! First things first, that's right, it's triangle to open the menu. No! I can't make her the leader! Fuck! Bummer, so you can't. That stinks! Yeah, whatever. Every chance I get, I always make Cosmos the leader, man. Yeah, sadly no JP audio. I'd have to play the Japanese version of the game for that. Really, that happened in Persona 4? Yeah, man. I know what to do! Okay, here we go. In the PST version? Gotcha.
I like how both times they've had a grenade launch at them. Fucking Shion is able to dodge it somehow. Didn't know Shion had Ultra Instinct for grenades. Yeah, who would have thought Miyuki would ever be useful? Get out of my way, or else... Oops, I thought I was Shion. I wasn't paying attention. Oopsie. poses. Yeah, Cosmos do have that have that sexy pose. Also, how hard does she on punch to cause sparks to come out of her fists? Thank <laughs> you. 
Have you played any Desigia games? I have not. So I think my friend, like my roommate, might have some, so I might be able to play those. I think he has them on Switch. Ah, yes. Uh, fuck! I'll wait till this cutscene's over. My, uh, my quote-unquote PS2 doesn't like some of these, uh, save points, so I have to, I have to use a, a special save state to say. Get out of my way. That saga started in PS2 too? Really? Bro, she gunned him up. <laughs> That's another reason why I like Xenosaga is because the uh, the mechs are awesome. has reached the checkpoint. Entering process 431. Replacing targets with Type G drones. Commencing display. Ah, oh, okay, so that's how you do it. There, my, uh, my special save state saved my ass. Just watch, is it gonna break? Is it gonna break? <gasps> oh my god, it didn't break for once. Holy shit. That was my original save right there. Ignore the graphical errors. PS2 working fine. Yeah, I'm just as surprised as you are. All right, that got me off guard. Commencing combat mode. Ah, damn. Oh, poor Shion does like no damage. And this is why, uh, grinding is a necessity.
Oh my god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Damn, dude. Okay, Shion's dead. I'm sorry, everyone. He lived by one HP. What the fuck kind of bullshit is that? Of course she's gonna get cooked, man. She can't... She does barely any damage. She's more of a support. Oh my god, I got a measly 15 experience for that. Hope y'all like grinding, cause uh definitely gotta do a little bit of that. A wee bit of early game grinding ain't gonna hurt anybody. Fun fact, I still have my strategy guide on this game. That's the part that I hate about early RPGs. Yeah, I mean... It, it sucks, but it is what it is, man. Oh, we got that magazine on deck. Hell yeah! Told you, man. Xeno Saga is like my one of my favorite is is my favorite game. No, apparently Kirby's birthday is today. the way he's he, I like his little his idol animation it's like he doesn't give a fuck all right Shion's doing a lot more damage than I thought experience for that singular monster. Get out of my way, or else... Oh no, not the flying bugaboos.
Ah, damn. Face the boss, why not? I should probably fully heal. There we go. <laughs> do you really think this is a good idea? No, do you? No, no, what do y'all think? You think I'm ready for the boss? At level three? I mean, I should be fine. I'm also feeling kind of lazy, so... Yeah, alright, let's go. It's a fucking box! That's the final boss. Is the box ghost? Here we go. What's going on? A brand new network is being created within the Cosmos mainframe. We've never had a reaction like this before. This is incredible. I've never seen a net grow so fast. Look at it, sir. Portions of the Encephalon map are evolving. What the? Oh, oh. Wonka? There's something I want to show you, but you have to follow my new Twitter. I'm going to engage the target. Make sure you And I can send it to you there. What? You cannot engage right now. Your tactic yeah, the link is in my it's too bio. Don't worry. We can pull it off. Yeah, it's a uh, the long story. I'm not going to bore you with the details. Disabling auto safety. Destroy all targets. <gasps> 420, hey man, this boss is lit. No, I didn't. What does FG shot do? Let's see. Damn. Jesus. Introducing voice message. Hey, how about you go fuck yourself? 
Uh, alright, so... Where is it? Was it download or screenshot? I think it was screenshot. So, I recently ordered this, like, two days ago. And... I am gonna be attempting to... Stream it. So, uh... Yeah, look forward to that. I just sent it to you, by the way. Speaking of, let's check tracking and see where it's at. Hell yeah, man. According to this, it says it's arriving Monday. But it's weird, because it's in California. So far, so good. Shift target to real mode. We'll test the Hilbert effect. What? Chief, you're supposed to follow the program. Cosmos, activate Hilbert. Roger. Activating Hilbert effect. Yeah, man, it's gonna be... It's gonna be an experience. I knew this would happen! Status! This is bad. Something's wrong in the Encephalon. The whole thing could collapse at any moment. What? What about the Chief? Chief, you're in danger! Get out of there now! Hold on! Just a little longer! Chief! Nerve impulse is in the limbic system! We've got Kinley! That's enough! Shut it down! Pull her out of there now! Roger! Entering shutdown command! It's been rejected! The Chief's overriding us! We can't control it from here! What? Ten seconds to encephalon collapse! Sir! Damn it! Yeah, that monster has high heels. <laughs> oh, also that uh that version of the game that I ordered. It's the uh it's the uncensored version. Bayonetta mech. <laughs> Yeah, man, I'm fucking walking on landmines. Chief! Is that a thing? Yeah, the uh, the PS4 version. Zer the PS4 version is censored. I don't know how, but it is. Are you all right? Uh, yeah, thanks. But the Switch version Did I got I apparently is untouched. Too far this time. <sighs> Alan? You can't keep doing this, Chief. I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. Sorry about that, but I bet the data's really good. Besides... Huh? Was there something else? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Well, we better get started on that data. Today's our deadline, so I'm sure they'll be asking for it soon. Attention, please. We are scheduled to gate out in approximately three minutes. All hands, please return to your designated areas immediately. Once again, attention, please. We are scheduled to gate out. Holy shit, what anime is this? And I need to watch it. Don't worry, I'll share it with you so you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, I just hopped on Facebook for like one second and that popped up right away. <laughs> I was like, what is this? I need to see, I need to watch it. While this cutscene plays out, I'm gonna go use the bathroom.
All ships, gate out complete. Shifting main engine to stealth mode. Maintaining current speed until sector withdrawal. Exit from current space set at absolute time, 1300 on the 22nd. Seven hours, 16 minutes, and 30 seconds to withdraw. Next UMN column in seven hours, 36 minutes. All gate jumps from other sectors will remain offline until then. So, we're almost home. Yes, sir. Our final gate jump is at the next column. We're almost there. We made it this far, we'll be fine. The odds of contact between columns is statistically low. Besides, this asteroid field we're in is perfect for hiding the fleet from them. Huh. So, Pollyanna thinks those asteroids are going to protect us. I'm sorry, sir. A bit testy today, aren't we, Commander? Huh? Is something wrong? No. Of course not. Ever since we picked up that object ten days ago, everyone's been a bit jumpy. And we still have a ways to go before we hit comm space. I can empathize with the Commander. Hmm. Uh, Captain? Can you, uh, debrief us on the current situation? Our original orders from the Galaxy Federation were to investigate the vanished planet and assist the researchers. But ever since we picked up that object, all right, I'm back. Like everything's changed. Went to go grab me some pain meds while I was at it. Thing anyway? Oh, and I got the name of it. I just looked at the comments. I haven't heard a thing from the research team. <clears throat> but as I mentioned before, yeah, I'm gonna have to definitely check out that anime too. for research purposes. That's unofficial info, of course. What about the rumor regarding the casualties during the retrieval process? Even if it were true, that's none of our business. The research team has their own orders to deal with. The only explicit instructions we've received state that should any salvageable objects exist in the area, their retrieval takes top priority. Top priority? What does that mean? What it means is... Another anime I need to watch is called uh, Two Love Rue. I tried watching it a couple now, years now, back, no but the way the guy up. treats the girl Those pisses me off. Reflect the importance of this operation to the Galaxy Federation Glad because I can't remember the name, LOL. Just stay sharp and be careful. That makes sense, sir. The entire fleet was renovated for this mission. Besides, if there's an emergency, we've got the trump card to fall back on. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, speaking of which, what's the latest on that situation? They're scheduled to turn in the A7 reports today. A7, eh? Only one step away from fully operational. It's about time, I suppose. Lieutenant, please ask Chief Uzuki to come to the bridge once her data's ready. Ask her to bring all the previous data as well. Yes, sir. What trump card? Was he referring to that battle android? That's right. All the etchy animes from that time got protagonists wow, like so that, and I don't like it. Hey, I heard. Yeah, I can't stand it either. But after seeing scenes from like the later seasons of Two Love Rue, I kind of want to check it out. They're being more careful this time. It's hard to believe they're making an android in this day and age. Dude, did you ever watch Chobits? I've ever seen them as in old space novels. I remember well, ditching not, fucking middle school to watch that with like my friend. Android's gonna make that much of a difference. The whole project's just a chance for those vector guys to show off. Someone's outdated hobby. That's all. I heard that even their commercial models differ greatly between those that have seen action and those that haven't. Dude, that's chick that chick's miniskirt is fucking bliss. tiny. Looks like they were right. Commander. Opening fire and that. Yeah, that fucking opening is amazing. Things. That's all. It's catchy and it gets stuck in your head. <clears throat> sure. I'll be there in thirty minutes. They certainly didn't waste any time. 
See? I'm usually right about these things. Chief Uzuki. You know, speaking of Trobits, it was really weird that her activation button Thanks. was uh, in her slit, per se. <laughs> this should be good enough. So, if you're railing her, are you constantly turning her on and off? That question has been on my mind ever since I was like 13. <laughs> um, Chief, do you have a second? Yes. The military is expecting actual field data for Cosmos. Is it right for us to keep giving them simulated data like this? Well, I must admit, you got me there. I think that is but how honestly, works with the rest. Me, Real people her know. Here, safe in her dream world forever. <laughs> but why are you so afraid to put her to real Yeah, you got a point there, man. You caught me. Simulation. Fucking touche. I can't wait to see Cosmos up and completely functional. Couldn't you at least try taking her up to phase three? That should be no problem for her by now. Phase three in a simulated battle config? Come on. We're not about to wake our little princess for that. Here's a summary of Cosmos' main equipment from the second division. This should help you with the guys upstairs. Thanks. I'm sure it will. <laughs> I gotta send you this one. For whatever reason, that, that one made me think of... An old buddy of mine. <laughs> Doody do I fucking It's been many years, I don't exactly remember where the hell I'm supposed to go. I don't know why I thought her name said Jenic Jenica. I hate being dyslexic. Magazine up. Yeah, I could, but I'd have to turn on my fucking light for that. I don't wanna. I'm supposed to talk to someone here. I'm just supposed to leave. I think I'm just supposed to leave. You know what? Because you said something, I'm gonna go grab my fucking my book. this thing has survived all these years is beyond me. I don't hate being dyslexic. Everything sounds funnier. Yeah, you got me there. Yeah, man. I'm surprised this book has survived the test of time. Alrighty, let's see what the the good old book says. Once I get past all this fucking beginner shit. Don't care. Ah, here we go. That looks so cool. <laughs> 
Alrighty, is there anything to do in this room before I leave? I can go back into the encephalon. Oh, okay. Okay. Because I don't want to get up, I'm just going to leave my light on. I don't really care. Uh, how, how do I get back into the encephalon? I think it was this save point that breaks my game. Let's see. Yep. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> I don't remember how to- oh, mate, whatever, I'll just go get it later. Glad your PST2 can rewind time. Yeah, man, I got that fucking, uh, that... That, uh, that... All right, see you later. The fucking time stone from okay, Infinity Wars. Luck. to work. Watch this, man. I, I'm going to snap my fingers and it's going to rewind time. Ha ha! I see. Yeah, man, I got that time stone in my fucking PS2. <laughs> ah, damn, this guy is fucking speaking philosophical to me. Fucking next thing you know, he's gonna tell me wax on, wax off. Fucking this music is a banger. She's really got you trained, hasn't she, sir? <laughs> He's a whipped bitch. Hey, what are you smiling at? Hurry up and get back to work. I'm on it. See how he always changes the subject? What was that, Togashi? Nothing at all, sir. You're just hearing things. I swear. Huh? What's up? Still not convinced? Oh, no, it's not that. It's just... I know how you feel, but you saw what happened just now. Even the chief is cautious sometimes. Besides... Oh, that's right. You just transferred in a month ago, right? I guess you couldn't have known. You mean the accident from two years ago? I've heard about it, but I don't know any details. Marth. Yeah, man, didn't you know Marth was in this? Oh, man, not again. Oh, well. Perfect. 
Now the two of you can be alone. Ah, damn, she's fucking white. We can handle the rest by ourselves. This is your big chance. I told you guys, it's not like that. <laughs> Crazy ass crossover. <laughs> Dude, she's whiter than me. Holy shit. Anyway, I better get this to her. Good luck. Yeah. Go, Tiger. And I used to glow in the dark as a baby. That's how white I am. Jeez. I just don't know when to quit. It's not like I don't want to. I just can't. Yeah, man, just fucking nail her already. Be a man. Funny, I don't think in any- I don't remember, but I don't think in any of the games he ever gets with her. Whoa! From one cutscene to another. Gotta fucking love it. You're slacking off! And you! And you! You're jacking off! You're all a bunch of jack-offs. Listen up! You lazy bums are the cause of that accident! You're not getting any time to confess your sins, though. Why not? Because I'm not giving it to you. If you've got time to be sorry, you've got time to get your ass in gear. If you've got time to think, you've got time to get your fingers moving. How many PS2s can a cutscene or how many cutscenes can a PS2 have? And work like a day and night. This is from fucking what, 2004? Early RPGs, man. Boy, I guess not every department's run like ours. It's nuts. still here, huh? Killing yourself over work won't get you very far. Oh. How are you? I had to get this data done before morning, so I... Well, what are you doing here so late, Kevin? Do you ever... Do you remember you ever watching dro uh, not droids, uh, Zoids? Here, this is for you. That was a cool fucking show. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Used to watch Zoids and Gundam before school every morning. Back in middle school. <clears throat> to tell you the truth, I haven't been able to sleep lately. Something's been on my mind. Yeah, hey, that sounds like me. I can't on fucking... I've been having trouble sleeping recently. Tomorrow, she's finally going to wake up. I'm looking forward to seeing her come to life, but... I have no idea what to say. She's gonna she wake up and up. fucking murder all of us. It's been bothering me. <clears throat> I'm just being weird, huh? Why is my tablet so fucking dirty? What the hell? Why don't you just say, Good morning, Cosmos. Zoids, nope. Ah, oh, man, well, you missed out. Zoids is pretty fucking cool. Say to someone when they wake up, right? The only anime we got on TV here in Mexico was Dragon Ball. Oh, that's right. I forget. You don't yeah. live in America. Yeah, I guess you're right. Thanks. I think I can finally get some sleep now. Glad to help, sir. Dragon Ball, you Ranma. Ranma sleep. sounds familiar. Sailor Moon, those kinds of stuff. Well, good night. Sailor Moon was all right. Good night. I always wanted to bang the redheaded one. Yeah. Everybody's so eager to see her. Ah, 
and uh, one and two. I'm gonna have to look that up because it sounds really familiar. Whoa, is that a JoJo reference? I wouldn't even know. I don't even watch JoJo. Jesus, Jesus is here as a little girl. Oh my god. I remember this fucking commercial. Holy shit. Gotta love hopping on Facebook and seeing fucking nostalgic shit. Look out! Watch it, you slacker! Only authorized personnel are allowed up here. I've had three people vanish on me already! Get the hell out of here! My men will start slacking off if they see bimbos like you around! I'm so sorry. <laughs> Bimbo. Who's the idiot that left civilians on this ship? What the hell are you staring at? Oh. That's one hell of a fucking drill sergeant. <laughs> Damn slacker! Jesus! Quit getting horny on the job. Fuck so angry. PS2 did Jeez. not do her fingernails any justice. Alan? What do you mean, Alan? Don't act so surprised. Didn't you forget something important? You know, it's dangerous wandering around in a daze like that. It's dangerous to go alone. Take yeah. this. Sorry. I was just thinking about something. Where's the sword? Right? <laughs> it's in his pants. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just not myself today. Why does Jesus keep showing up in front of me as a little girl? Alan, thanks for stepping in back there. Uh, no. I, I should have spoken to the new guy earlier. That's so, a slow fucking robot. Me. But it would really help if you would try to understand their feelings more. I, I know everyone's still a little uneasy about Cosmos, but they've been pouring their hearts and souls into this project. They all want to see with their own eyes the end results of what they've been working so hard to complete. I feel the same way myself, you know? I know that. It's just... That I... Chief. The incident, right? 
Huh? Oh, <laughs> I see. You're... Hmm? Sorry, that's not quite it. Forget about it. It's nothing. Let's just hurry up and get Cosmos completed, okay? Oh. Who could that be? More Realian maintenance? They really should stop calling you all the time. Technically, it's a violation of regulations for you to deal with other divisions. Besides, aren't they expecting you on the bridge? Oh, don't worry about it. I don't want to brush them off. Besides, it's on the way, and I've got some time. Yeah, man, so I'm go fuck See themselves. <laughs> oh. Ugh. I forgot to ask her out after work. What a weenie. Bro got no game. <laughs> That's when you just go up to her and you be like, hey baby, you ever do it in a suitcase? Gets all the ladies wet and wanting more. Either that or a fucking knife in your throat. I think that save point breaks my game too. Yep. Uh, uh, snap. You move away so quick? What do you mean? The Gnosis. <laughs> the moment you get to that save point, you just walk the other way. You know, sometimes I wish I could just turn off my pain receptors. That'd be nice. What the fuck is my tablet downloading? Hello, you rang? My apologies, Miss Uzuki. It seems we're constantly in need of your help. No problem, Lieutenant. I want everyone to be healthy and happy too, after all. So? What's the problem today? Well, I'm trying to teach them some new battle algorithms to better reflect the unit's reorg. But the integration is not going very smoothly. You're right. He's rejecting the data. Let's see. Linguistics. That's a weird fucking word. <laughs> Linguistics. This makes me think of fucking ling linguini.
Does a robot like you feel fear? That's what I got from that fucking last guy. There, am I done? Can I fuck off now? Cool. Goodbye. Well, I've made some adjustments, but please contact Third Division once we return. I recommend they receive more intensive counseling soon. You I'll sleep. Sure to do so. You know, you going to bed? Impressed. Providing reality and psych support on top of developing Cosmos? I hear even specialized counselors have a hard time. Oh, I'm just making the most of what my mentor taught me. I'm oh, that dude looking like. Help. Yeah, he was pretty fucking like knocked out. Besides, I always wanted to work in the third division. Actually. <laughs> I'm thinking about you know what division I want to work in? I want to work in the big fucking division. First R and D division has the best BFG division. In the everyone knows not just anyone can get in there. Are you sure that you want to transfer? Oh yes. Besides, my family's always asking, how did you get assigned to the first division? There must have been a mistake in the paperwork. Who knows? Maybe they're right. Besides. I want to learn so much more about them. What's learning about them going to do for you? Lieutenant Virgil. Lieutenant Squirgle. Oh, what a freak. He's smelling him. Stench. Mm, smells like chicken. What? It reeks. I can't get their rotten odor out of my system. This one made poo poo in his typer. <laughs> can't you smell it? <laughs> it makes me sick to my stomach. Huh? What are you? <gasps> That's enough. You got your orders from the Lieutenant It's Prince Commander Zuko Ryu. before Prince Zuko. The goal of this operation is to enhance combat support between the eggs and the new model Reallians. And yet your support huh. in a battle against them, the last thing I want to worry about is supporting a bunch of untested weapons grade Reallians. Um Excuse me, but these people are highly qualified soldiers. These people you're treating I off my life, even like though I said evil. I wasn't gonna. Oh, you really shouldn't say things like that. That scene's going on, so why the These fuck not? These people have the same intellect and emotions as us. And the Milsha Charter clearly spelled out the basic human rights of Reallians when it was ratified in 4763. What a load of crap. Get off your soapbox. You act noble and preach about humanity, but in the end, they're just equipment as far as your company's concerned. Or maybe more like merchandise. We don't treat them anything like equipment or merchandise. Then why do you categorize them as weapons grade realians? How much more evidence do you need than that? Whatever you care to call them, they're nothing but tools of warfare. Besides, I know your little secret. You guys have an emergency override code to control them, don't you? Uh, Virgil, why are you? Huh? What do you want? It is as you say, sir. We are manufacturers of merchandise and raised accordingly. However, I take great pride in what I do now. He's gained sentience. Put him down. Forced upon me. It is of my own free will. So what we're gonna do when AI tries to take over. <laughs> free will, huh? Well, good for you. You'd better just enjoy it while you can. The time will come soon enough when you'll realize what's going on. Just you wait. Is he? An 
asshole? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah, got a low on your hands are occupied and you can't fucking mute your microphone. Thank you. My apologies, Ms. Uzuki. Ah, oh, I sneezed and I lost a viewer. <laughs> Damn sneeze phobic people. Is he an old acquaintance? We were classmates at the military academy, and I've been stuck with him since then. It was Milsha. I see. So... That's why. You knew about that, huh? Then again, anyone planning to join the 3rd Division would know. Well, I... I'm from Milsha. Huh? Of course, no one's allowed to go there anymore. My family moved to 2nd Milsha when they transferred the capital after the war. And my brother still lives there alone. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring back painful memories. Oh, it's all right. After all, it's something we must never forget about. For our sake and theirs as well. Oh, no! I forgot I had to report to the bridge. <sighs> Sorry, I'll come back to check on them later. Bye. Fuck, I hate being tired. Maybe I should go to bed early since Friday is usually my early streams. I don't know, we'll see. Any day now, sweetheart. Thank you. This guy's name is Hogar. And it just reminds me of Hogarth from Iron Giant. On delay. I don't fucking care. That one big dude from the final fight? No, Hogarth is the kid. <clears throat> the only big dude in that movie is the Iron Giant. Do you remember how to change cameras? I don't remember how. I already forgot. No, I mean the game. Final fight. Hagar, I think is his name. <clears throat> the final boss for this game? Or is there an actual game called Final Fight? That I'm just stupid and not realizing. Hey, there we go. <clears throat> R2 changes it. Holy shit, that moves fast. The game is just called Final Fight. Oh, gotcha. Shit, that might have been too little. Uh, hit it! Why does Final Fight sound familiar?
Oh, apparently you can buy it on Steam for two dollars. That's way too much. Fuck. No! Are you fucking serious? Ah, okay, that's way too much. Dude! God damn, talk about being fucking pixel perfect. Holy shit. Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> Miss Uzuki. Blah, blah, blah. Another cutscene? Hey, no cutscene. Hell yeah. Hey man, how's it going? You're truly a trash in a dunghill. Uh <laughs> okay. <laughs> What? Why are you calling her trash? You're a dick. Even Homer sometimes bobs. Even sometimes nods. What the fuck? Alright. Bro has negative game. <laughs> He's got that nega riz. Pretty sure that's what I was supposed to reply. Whoa. Gotta love when you can do that in the old games. You rarely can do this anymore. <laughs> Uh, he said Sergeant Swine. Cool, awesome. So 
want to hurry up and kill things, man. Oh, and these two butt fuckers are going to teach me how to play tag. Oh, 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 hell yeah, I can fucking sneak past them. I know I can. I think I need to go to the hangar, don't I? Ugh, don't talk to me. Fuck! This game lacks fucking overworld music. But that'll all change when the Fire Nation attacks. Thanks for your business, even though I didn't fucking buy anything. Alright, I think I can fucking book it now. That's a weird way to watch TV. Ten minutes late, I'm an asshole. Right <laughs> here. Alright, well the cutscene plays, I'm gonna take a leak. I see. I understand the basic specs. So, where's the actual field data? Well, it's not quite ready. All I can provide today is up to A7. So you don't have it. Well, we'll begin testing with a mock-up unit very soon. But the system is still a little unstable and... Aren't you just making excuses? Listen, Chief Uzuki. Why do you think you're on this ship? Think about that for a moment. This fleet may be newly outfitted, but it was assembled under major time constraints. And we have eggs units, but the 100 series observational units that go with them aren't available until later. What would happen if by some chance we were attacked by those things? I don't think I need to describe the outcome to you. The purpose of Cosmos deployment was to address this issue. Or am I mistaken? No, sir. Listen, you're not in a laboratory anymore. You're on a warship. This is a battlefield. Cosmos was supposed to be our frontline defense here, and now you're telling us it hasn't even woken up yet. There's no point in having a weapon that can't even get out of bed. That thing's only meaningful to us when it's fully operational. Why can't you? Let it go, Commander. 
These people are working under serious time constraints. Just like our own squadron. Besides, they're only one step away from actual field testing. In the end, we all want to see this operation completed without having to resort to that thing. Don't we? Of course, Captain. But I believe we... Ugh, who's calling me? Is there a problem? Uh, uh, no. Something urgent's come up. All right, I'm back. If you'll excuse me. If I remember right, isn't there a, uh, a Metal Gear game? I wonder what's wrong. That... I don't know. Has, like, a fucking well, day of cutscenes. That's enough for today, Chief Uzuki. Let me know if any new developments arise. I'm sorry we failed to meet your expectations. Oh, there's no need to apologize. What's important to us is how reliable the system is once we start using it. Rushing the project won't get us anywhere. So just calm down and take as much time as you need. The government's funding it all anyway, right? <laughs> <laughs> <You must've laughs> yeah, fuck the government. <laughs> take the rest of the day off. Metal Gear, Snake Eater, probably. It's either that one, or... F either four or five. Please save the file attached to the info. Attached file plugin is called Sprinkle. What the fuck? Alrighty, I think I head back to her room and then the fun should start. Alright, never mind. I go back to the fucking robot dock place. The hangar. That's it. I should play Rising Revengeance again at some point. I kind of want to play it on the hardest difficulty. Alrighty, man, you have a good one. <sighs> She'll smell you later. Okay! You and Serene really like that fucking... thing. That redeem.
Yes, sir. I'm afraid there's no excuse for the fatalities that occurred during the recovery. However, we can... That's a trivial matter. Forget it. The problem is that those people touched the Zohar and then vanished. And, in addition to that, you're still transporting it while exposed to normal space. Two phases? But why are you... We picked up local UMN activity on our EPR radar. The fleet is column jumping towards the position of your convoy. They'll cross your vector in five hours, 22 minutes. No, it can't be. Them? I told you, you've made a grave mistake. We dispatched reinforcements an hour ago. So keep it safe at all costs until they arrive. W will they make it in time? Just keep it safe until they arrive. I don't care if you have to send it into hyperspace by itself. Fortunately for you, your ship is carrying that weapon. I don't know what Vector's up to, but take advantage of the situation if you can. Excuse me, sir, but they haven't even started field testing it yet. It's too risky. You, of all people, should be cognizant of its power. I don't care if it's unstable. Make them hurry. But, but, sir... That is all. Commander, wait! Commander Margulis! Like I told you before, I can't go anywhere until my project stabilizes. Don't you remember? You know how long you've been saying that? I haven't seen you for two years now. You could at least come home for our parents' memorial. Where's your sense of filial duty? Memorial? Oh, come on. Why are you trying to resurrect obscure ancient rituals? Wait a minute. You've been reading those weird old books again, haven't you? I swear you're so obsessed with those precious books of yours. That is none of your business, thank you very much. Uh, how many times must I tell you not to quibble about my way of life? What do you mean, way of life? All that stuff's just a stupid old hobby for you. Just remember, don't expect me to take you in when you're old, senile, and all alone. That's terribly rude of you, Shion. Me. Just promise me you'll come home this year, okay? If you don't... All right, all right, when I get some time off. Look, gotta run. See ya. Hey, wait. I'm not going to let you dodge the question again. Hello? Hello? Honestly, I wish he'd consider my feelings for a change. Good night.
What the? You're all still here? Hey, how's it going? We're trying to pinpoint today's problem, among other things. What about you? Oh, Commander Cherenkov gave me a piece of his mind earlier. Ouch. Glad to see you survived. That guy's relentless. You act like a bunch of college kids, and what, Inspector, run by a Girl Scout? He just went on and on. Man, that's just not right. Seriously. But it isn't right to have the Chief taking all the heat. Still, I wonder why he seems so nervous. Now exiting the asteroid field. That's excellent. Prepare to gate jump. Aye, aye, Captain. All ships entering approach. 19 minutes, 30 seconds to column area. UMN, pulse received. Current coordinates locked. Transfer vector correction to 103. Target, Athens column. Captain, a warning signal. It can't be. Is it them? No, sir. The detection system is silent. How's it look on your side? Nothing over here, either. Are you sure it's not an error? No, no, it's not. What is this? What's going on? Sir, I don't think an external source is causing this warning signal. Then what's causing it? I'll run a search. I've pinpointed the anomaly. It's inside the ship, Sector 3. Same as the last time. 
What is it now? Detecting a large-scale spatial distortion ahead of us. An enormous mass is gating out. Impossible. We're still outside the column area. That's... The UMN geodesic structure is being breached. The target! It appears to be interacting with the UMN somehow! It's being hacked! That's possible? Massive gravity fluctuations! Surface anomalies forming in space-time! Impossible! That defies all laws of physics! mass, the numbers are completely inconsistent! I can't get a clear reading! Whatever it is, it's huge! The amplitude! The hell? It's like a tidal wave! The readings are increasing! It's entering normal space! Captain! Captain! Straight ahead! There it is! Gnosis! to battle without an age unit. What brave little soldiers they are. Brings tears to my eyes. Well, let's see how they do as shields. a good idea?
Can't we stop it? It's no use. It's not responding. Cosmos is starting up an auto mode. Huh? Wait a sec. We disabled that mode after the incident. Only the Chief's terminal can enable it. Damn it. Why now? Unless it's reacting to Gnosis. Where's the Chief? She should be heading this way. But the regular UMP channels are congested and I can't reach her. And the emergency line? I'm trying it now. Just suddenly... Huh? Huh? What? what? Sorry about that, something to go take care of.
It owns the place. It's moving around randomly. It looks like it's alone. Uh, this is so. Damn it! You! What the hell are you doing here? What do you think you're doing? Those bullets could have killed me! What are we doing? What the hell do you think you're doing running around like an idiot? We thought you were a gnosis! Look! to deal with. Here I am getting attacked by the Gnosis, I'm getting lost at every turn, and, and don't give me a hard time right now. What the hell? Lost? You're the idiot who built this ship. I'm not with the fleet design department. I wouldn't know a thing about ships. We're on DEFCON 1 alert. What the hell is a civilian like you wandering around the ship for? Well, I've got an emergency. I'm worried about Cosmos. What the hell is Cosmos? Ah, never mind. Deal with it later. Just get to a shelter and stay put. Believe me, if I could, I would. Then why don't you? I just told you, Cosmos is... Ah, shut up! <laughs> hey! They're coming! Get back! Lieutenant! What? You think I'm deaf or something? You... What the... Here. You've got to hurry. 
I can't do that. I can't just run off by myself. We'll have to leave together. <laughs> What's going on down there? Take out the mothership! We can't! We're too close to fire the cannons! There's a breach in the reactor room! Emergency core shutdown! Switch to reserves! Aid's losses have exceeded 70%! I'm trying. This is the cruiser Woglinde with the 117th Marine Division. We're engaged with the Gnosis. Coordinates KX417Y009Z735. Requesting immediate reinforcements. Repeat, this is the crew... Captain, it must be... No question about it. They're after that thing. What's the status? We've connected the main field generator and this block's sub-reactor. It'll only hold for three minutes, but we can move this ship under power. Bypass connection to the logic drive secured. You can take control from this terminal. That's fine. Good work. Commander, I object. Purging this entire block and executing a gate jump is suicide. You know as well as I do what happens when a human body enters hyperspace unprotected. All that matters is that we get this to the commander. We'll be at the next column area in a matter of minutes. There's no time. Get in the pod and evacuate with the others. But commander, the Gnosis are swarming all over the place. We won't stand a chance even if we do evacuate. We should accompany you. 
Listen. The Gnosis are insignificant. They are nothing compared to what'll happen if it awakes. As soon as you launch the escape pod, inject yourself with 8 milligrams of Ditch Beta. You'll fall into a temporary near-death state, but that'll keep them from noticing you. Reinforcements from Central Command will arrive in a few hours. You must survive until then, or my death will be for nothing. Commander! Commander. Go now. Lester! What? What do I do? I gotta stop them. There's gotta be a way. But how? Hey, you. What are you doing? Give that back! <clears throat> Quit your whining. I'll give it right back. Hey. They're based on the 508 series, right? So what if they are? It's been almost 14 years now. Since I returned from Milsha, that is. Out in the fields, I took apart so many of them to get what I was looking for. It was a lot of work, you know. What with that dual stage protection they got and all. Dual stage? Lieutenant, you consumed their neuro... But of course, they were quite delicious. How could you? That's when I found out about the control code. It's quite a convenient function you put in there. <gasps> That's right. I'm going to have these marionettes hold off the Gnosis for us. Just like this. Of their rights? That's for peacetime, lady. You think I don't know the Milshan Charter? Milshan Charter, Article 4, Paragraph 13. <sighs> Weapons grade realians are required to be equipped with a remotely accessible behavioral limit and self destruct system in case of emergency or malfunction. Use of these functions will be determined by the senior officer in charge of the situation. Am I right? Well, that time is now. And I am the conductor. I intend to make full use of my orchestra. You do this! 
So what are you gonna do about it? Tell me, why haven't you disabled that function? Sure, it's factory loaded, but you of all people shouldn't have any trouble removing it. Since you care about them so much, all it would take is a little tweak and they'd be free as birds. And yet you don't. Why not? Because company protocol dictates... Exactly. It's protocol. In other words, you're just like me, bound by that protocol. We're the ones that give them a reason to live. Am I wrong? But I... That's the difference between us and them. Am I wrong? So why not give it to them? A meaning to their pitiful existence! Just you wait. Keep doing it. Tomorrow she's finally going to wake up. I'm looking forward Morning, to seeing her. Morning, Christmas. Right, but... How do you feel? There's no point in having a weapon that can't even get out it's of bed. It's all right. This is what we so were why to not do. Give it to Take them. Take care. A meaning to their... All right. Do you feel sad or anything? What's this girl doing here? Seen her before? Not safe there. Run. Run away. It's no use. My voice. Oh. Well. I'm going to die. helped everyone escape. They're all on the training ship. Now we need to get you out of here. Cosmos?
Xi'an. Uh, yes? We will now proceed to Hangar 1. Huh? There is a 99.998% probability that the Gnosis target is the object stored in that hangar. My assigned duties are to verify and preserve the integrity of that object, and to protect the Vector staff members. Uh, but... I... Life pods are located on the second level of the hangar. Please use one to escape. Cosmos... Ch chief
your orders, Xi'an? been exterminated. Exterminated. 